being the, the trigger point for some of the violence we're seeing for the past few days. But that's not all. Well, yeah, what we have to bear in mind is that Lebanon is currently experiencing an unprecedented socioeconomic collapse. Basically, the structures that have underpinned the current political system and the economy since the end of the civil war in the early 1990s have collapsed. And what what this essentially means is that Lebanon is entering a new phase of its, its history and the political class and their allies in the banking sector are uh, holding firm. They don't want to see the system collapse. They want to maintain the status quo, which has been very lucrative to them, a status quo through which they've managed to plunder public wealth, public funds, through which they've managed to uh, basically lead us to this uh, catastrophe that we are currently experiencing. And in a nutshell, this is what is currently the case. They're trying to maintain the status quo as it is, and they want to make sure that any form of accountability is never even considered. And right now, as we've just seen, when even if like one a judge man tries to, or even has you know the courage to go after the big shots, the big figures such yes. as former ministers or f current members of parliament, uh, they're willing to put ev you know try to go through every single avenue to try to block his way. And the, at last resort, they'll resort to civil strife, which only benefits them, the political class, and their allies in the banks, at the expense of society as a whole. And I mean, the World Bank said that the, the economic collapse, the social collapse that we're seeing there uh, in Lebanon is, is one of the worst in, in recent uh, history. It, is, it has been stunning the way uh, the, the state has almost failed. How does that benefit these militias that we've seen obviously come out onto the streets and play into this increasing uh, power vacuum? So we have to bear in mind that the political class and the banks are two sides of the same coin. If you actually just look at, you know, the shareholders of the major banks, it's the same people. And what ended up happening is that now we know that in late 2019, after the, current, the national currency started devaluating and losing its value, billions of dollars were siphoned off abroad by the big depositors, while small depositors weren't allowed, informal capital controls were placed on small depositors and they couldn't actually retrieve their money and instead their dollars and instead they had to retrieve it in lira or national currency which has lost its value so in a way the, by engaging in or allowing for civil strife to take place the ruling class these feudal lords and warlords from the civil war who became the ministers and prime ministers in the post-war era are effectively re-stamping their authority on the country and saying and effectively telling everyone that there is no alternative and they are if you want by reinforcing these sectarian rhetoric these sectarian cleavages between different components of our society they are re-establishing their power and stamping their authority on the ground as we as we've heard and seen from the images and also from Ben Wiedemann's report, there is a lot of ammunition. You heard the rounds behind Ben, a lot of weapons. What does that mean? Uh, the fact that the amplification of violence seems to be playing into this. What, where, you know, is there a concern of a return to civil war? I mean, we have to bear in mind that we have parliamentary elections that are supposed to take place quite soon, either in March or in May of next year. It's still not entirely sure when. And these elections will be a chance for the ruling class in Lebanon to regain some form of lost legitimacy, because this will allow them to tell both their domestic constituents and international audiences that, look, we are still here. We still have a lot of support. So right now, this, personally, I don't think there is a fear of civil war as there was in the case in 1975 because the situation is completely different. Mm. And these kinds of skirmishes that we saw two days ago are an attempt for the ruling class to, as I mentioned earlier, re-embolden sectarian divisions, sectarian cleavages, and, uh, you know, ready their uh, constituents, their their supporters for the upcoming elections. Uh, and to try to regain the sense of lost legitimacy, that the legitimacy that they've heavily lost in the last two years and a half of the socioeconomic collapse. Karim uh, Mahej, thank you very much for joining us. Great to get your perspective there. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're watching CNN. New details about the